Hey everybody, welcome back to Wigs Gaming. Wanted to let you know that we are doing, of course, another pick the worst Pokemon of the generation. Today it's going to be water type. So if you're excited for more, please be sure to leave a like on the video and please subscribe if you're new. I'm going to try to get these out every single day. Please also leave me a comment down below and let me know what your least favorite water type Pokemon is. It's time to get started here with generation number one. And we've got some easy choices. Very easy choices. Now look, I'm going to pick something. And I'm going to try to be as honest as possible here. Okay? Cloyster just disgusts me when I think about it. I think about the way it sounds. It's like, Cloyster. Okay? It just makes me cringe. I think about what it's used for. It's a tanky wall. Its design is just an open shell with, like, a ghastly inside of it. I really don't know why there isn't a comparison. Like, is there somewhere in the Cloyster lore that ghastly possessed a shell? Because that's what I'm looking at right now. I just can't get behind it. Cloyster is not very well designed. It's not a very good Pokemon. It, it's bulky, and there's some aspects of that that help you, but I just... No, I just don't like it, and um, I think we all have another thing that we know about its design, but I'll leave it at that. Okay, Generation 2. This is a very easy answer. Anyone who disagrees with me is just dead wrong. It's obviously Corsola. I get it, man. I get it at the end of the day. If you like this Pokemon, you're welcome to use this Pokemon, but at the end of the day... It's really a toss-up between this and Quillfish, but I feel like Quillfish, because of its typing, really gets carried, whereas Corsola just gets smashed by, by grass types. Absolutely devoured in half by grass types. It never got an evolution, and I just don't understand why they didn't bother with it. I think it really could have used one. I think they had an opportunity to potentially give it one in Gen 7 with Alola, but they just didn't do it. And unfortunately, this thing will always be known as what's supposed to be a bulky water type that isn't bulky at all. Corsola is by far the worst water type of Generation 2. Generation 3. This is another easy answer. For the same reason why I said Corsola, it's Relicanth. I understand that Feebas statistically is the worst, but the thing is, is that there's potential in its evolution. Relicanth 1 just looks weird. I think it was supposed to be a fossil, but they didn't put a third fossil in the game, and they just put this in the game for some reason. It's behind a lot of things, like getting it getting into grass when you're underwater, which is super hard to find. And by the time you even catch this thing, you already have your team figured out. No one really uses this thing. It's not very useful. It does get things like stealth rocks, which can be used in competitive battles, but in the actual games themselves, nobody wants it. Four times weak to grass, and Corsola is more defensive than this thing is. Just doesn't work. Not the best option in the world. I do really like Gen 3, but I can confidently say that one of the worst Pokemon in all of existence, and definitely the worst Pokemon of Gen 3, is probably Relicanth. Now, Gen 4 is where things get a little tricky. Because I like a lot of these Pokemon. But there's one that I think everybody knows is a bad apple, and that is quite simply Fionn. But it's a legendary! It's not. Look up Fion stats and tell me what legendary is that. The way Fion works is that Manaphy is the only Pokemon I think that you can actually make an, an, an egg with. And it hatches into Fion or something along those lines. But then Fion doesn't evolve back into Manaphy. It's just a trash baby Pokemon that's considered legendary that only people only ever get just to cross off, cross off a, a box in their Pokedex. That's all the only reason they ever get this thing. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't even get tail glow as far as I know. I know Manaphy does. I don't think Fionn does. And even if it did, it wouldn't be multiplying that much attack or special attack. So I just can't get behind this thing. I don't think it's very good. And I just wish they would have made it so you could at least evolve it into Manaphy. But that would have just been breaking some rules with legendaries. So it is what it is. Now, Generation 5. Oh, wow. This is hard. This is hard. I love the Oshawa line. I love 
What's this thing called again? Seismitoad. I think it's I think it's basculin. That's not this is this is this isn't basculin. This is basculin. Yeah, this is basculin. It's basculin. Basculin is behind so many things I forgot it existed. That's that's how I feel about this thing. I also thought Stunfisk was a water type, and he's not on this list, so I guess he's not. I'm really interested in finding out what he is. But um it's obviously basculin. This thing doesn't really give you much value and it never evolved which was just a really big mistake so it's got to go to basculin here now generation six obviously we have greninja we have primal kyogre we got Me we ended up getting mega blastoise mega gyarados and mega slowbro and mega swampert and mega sharpedo all pokemon that i already love all got megas it was an incredible generation for water types except for one and that was the water type that doesn't even evolve into a water type. Skrelp. Dragolge is a cool Pokemon. But Skrelp? What do you do? What is your purpose? And why do you not even evolve into a water type? Who thought of that? I just... Goodbye, Skrelp. I'm done with you, buddy. I'm done with you. Generation 7. Another quality generation with a lot of water types. We got Ash Greninja. We got the Poplio line. But then we got this guy. Wait, does he evolve into this? I take it back. I take it back. He does. We got some really cool water bugs. Like, uh, this is not Wimpod. This is this is Wimpod. This, evolves, this is what it evolves into. But the obvious answer is Bruxish. Bruxish, as cool as its typing is, I don't know which end is its face and which end is its butt. Like, I don't know. Is this its tail? Is this its tail? It, I, it could go either way, man. Not to mention, again, cool typing, water psychic. Do you not look at this thing and it give you nightmares? Like, look, let me zoom in. Let me zoom in. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Does that not give you nightmares? Because I'm getting nightmares looking at it right now, dude. I cannot, I can't with this thing, man. I cannot with this thing. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. This thing's on the list. Generation 8. What are, wait, what? I, just, I didn't play the Sword and Shield DLC, guys. I didn't. I don't. Okay, well, this was probably from uh, Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl. But what are these? I've never seen them. They look so cool. I gotta figure out. I gotta figure out what those are all about. But anyway, Generation Eight worst water type. I'm already looking at it. It is such an obvious answer. But what is this? I I don't even know the name of this Pokemon. Okay, I've seen it a few times. I don't I don't know the name of it. This is the worst thing I have ever seen. Ever. That's all I have to say. That's all I have to say. That's all I have to say. Okay. Generation 9. Okay. So, this is another tough choice. Because I really, really like a lot of these Pokemon. Quaxly is so awesome. But what happened to you, dude? What happened to Quaxly? We get a Donald Duck looking, I'm the captain of the ship looking Quaxly, and you evolve into whatever this thing is. I was so disappointed when I found out that this was Quaxly's final form. I was sad. I was really, really sad to find out about that. I just, I just can't. It ruined it. It ruined it. So here are our choices. Cloyster, Corsola, Relicamp, Fion, Basculin, Skrelp, Bruxish, whatever this thing is, and Quaxly. And in my personal opinion, out of all these on the list, the worst Pokemon has got to be Relicamp. I can't get behind Relicamp. Maybe they should have made it evolve. Maybe they should have taken Rock out of its typing or maybe made it 
you know, water and ground or something. Maybe made it a little bit more offensive if they're going to do that. They had some options. They didn't do them. And that's why Relicanth is the worst water type. So that's going to do it for me. If you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.